Hello, Clark. Good to see you. <laughs> Well, as always. Annual, oh, yes, yes, yes. Our annual report has entered a whole new era, as we both know. We still do the print version, but the emphasis is on the online and interactive report, giving stakeholders an enhanced user experience. Can you talk about, elaborate on that? Sure. I, we all grew up in the era of uh, nice printed um, annual reports. Um, before the pandemic, you know, we were most of us were in the office five days a week, opening our mail and, and paging through, you know, printed communications from organizations. I think one of the silver linings of the pandemic is is rethinking the way we communicate, and the new online version of our annual report is interactive. It allows, makes it easy for people to flip through uh, the report and find things that are of greatest interest to them to click for additional information. So it's a much, much more robust communications tool than, the, than the, the printed reports of yesterday. And we're really excited about it. And this report is really more than a literal annual report. It reaches back to um, what MHP was up to since the pandemic. Why do we need to do more than just an annual report and go further back? Um, I think, well, a couple of things. Uh, you know, we, we um, uh, a lot has changed in our world uh, during the pandemic. The way we do business has changed. The housing challenges have changed. So I think this is a moment in time, as we're sort of retooling and rethinking the way we, you know, the way we share information about MHP. Uh, it's an opportunity to, just, you know, to talk about a period where things have really changed across the board, uh, including both both how we do our housing work and how we communicate about it. It's been a lot of fun, actually, for me doing this a la carte where you go from one bucket to another bucket and you go ahead and look at what you want to look at and then you come back later and, and look at other parts. Um, do you want to give some highlights of some of the uh, favorite parts people can look forward to reading in this report? Sure. Uh, one of the things, uh, you know, uh, uh, my strongest interest is around the use of of city and town land to, to, to build more affordable housing. And there's a whole uh, description of some of our, our historical efforts and a gallery of some of our success stories there. You know, we're trying to find every possible avenue to produce more housing in the Commonwealth, and every community needs to step up. And one of the most effective ways to do that is to make land available. And that's that's really been kind of an MHP thing for a number of decades. Um, so we're thrilled to have an opportunity to showcase that work. Anything else that's different or new or that people have fun playing with when they go online to look at this report that you like to bring out? Well, there's also a really strong focus on housing and transit and, and our work around the new MBTA, MBTA community zoning law. So I think as we deal not just with the cost of housing, but also climate change and the need to, to build in more environmentally friendly ways, I think that synergy between housing and transportation is really important. And we really focus on that in the, in the report as well. Okay, well, that's really all, all that's about it. And, okay, does that um, give you something to work with? Yes, yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much, very much, Clark. Okay, thanks. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye.